There are quite a few different ways of introducing Joker into your swim when you're using it. And certain ways suit particular conditions or species of fish or certain venues. So while we're here, I thought I'd run you through a little bit of them all, just so you can get an idea of what might best suit your local place or what you want to do with your bloodworm and joker. And the first way is what I consider the most simple, because it basically involves feeding a little bit of joker in your ground bait that you'd normally use. So this mix here is literally my favourite fish meal ground bait for um, silverfish on commercials in winter. And I've put my usual feed in there, which is a little handful of dead pinkies and maggots and a little handful of casters. So they've gone in there. And then I've literally just got a handful of joker, fired it in there as well, mixed it in. So this mix is pretty much exactly what I'd normally feed, but it happens to have a little bit of the magic joker in there as well. And as I've explained, fish this time of year, they can't resist the stuff and putting it in your normal ground, but it just gives it more pulling power. And then you've got the option to fish bloodworm on the hook deadly bait this time of year and it just enhances your whole mix by having that bait in there super simple literally all you're doing is doing what you'd normally do but have some joker in the mix the next way to feed some joker is probably the most traditional way and that's in either a soil or a lean now if you don't know what soil or lean is it's basically clay or soil it's mud it doesn't get any simpler than that and the reason people use that to feed joker is because it's heavy and it'll take the bait to the bottom and break down on the bottom and release the joker but it's not got any food in it like ground bait has so fish can eat ground bait and it'll fill them up whereas they can't eat soil they've just got to pick the joker or any other bait you put in there out of it and that's why it can be very good to feed just soil or lean in the winter months there's not a lot of food in other than the joker or other baits you put in there so how do you actually go about mixing up some soil and lean to use for joker it's really simple i quite often just get a bag of lean or soil um, you can get a couple of different variations lean's a little bit lighter and clouds up a bit more and soil is heavier and makes less of a cloud and as a general rule lean for smaller fish soil for bigger fish and it's simply a case of emptying your soil or your lean into a bucket, a two kilo bag's more than enough for a session. And then add in a little bit of what's called gray lean. And this stuff's basically a binder. It's a very fine concrete sort of um, powder and adding about 300 mil of that, I just use my pole pot to measure it, um, into a bag of soil and then mixing it together. I particularly like to use a whisk will just help it all stick and bind together before you put your joker in there. And you're left, when you've done that, with a mix that is a little bit like this. It should start to pebble up and go to little balls. And if it's not doing that, the thing to do is just get your atomizer, really handy, these, and just give it a little squirt of water and keep mixing it or whisking it up until it starts to make little tiny balls. And that'll enable you to squeeze the mix into a really firm, hard, heavy ball to carry that bait to the bottom, but then it'll break down into its original form like so. So really good way of getting bait to the bottom without having lots of feed like ground bait in it. Now, what you actually put into that mix once it's done is entirely down to you. And that's where you've got to think about how good the day is going to be and what fish you're fishing for. And as a general rule for me, if you're fishing for roach, plenty of joker in there is really good if you've got a bag of lean that you've mixed up around 300 mil of joker and again just like with the the gray lean you can actually measure it out 300 mil of joker into that mix will make quite a joker rich mix like so and i've even put a few casters in mind today as well just because there's an odd big perch in here and as you can see there's lots and lots of joker an odd caster and for me, that's the perfect feed on a tricky day to catch fish like roach and perch. The final way of feeding joker is a little bit of an old fashioned one, but there's still a day and a time that it works really well. And that's feeding it raw, which is basically feeding it straight out of the paper as it comes. And in my experience, this works best on venues that aren't too deep, but are very, very silty and soft on the bottom where a ball of ground bait or a ball of soil might sink in there and fish are used to eating out of that silt on the bottom. When you feed joker raw, as it is like this, 
It'll land on the bottom, bits will wriggle and mix into the sill and fish can grub in there eating it as it would be in its natural form in a lake. So it's quite effective on shallow lakes, silty lakes, where you're fishing for quite wary fish. Um, two different ways are actually feeding raw. The first one is literally straight out of the paper. Open your paper up. You can get your globule of joker like that, stick it in your pole pot and pot it in. And often it'll take fish quite a while to come over that because there's lots of free offerings there for them to eat. So tend to have to feed raw joker like that and leave it for an hour or so to settle. And the other way of feeding raw joker is to add a little bit of the grey lean that I've already showed you. And it's simply a case of getting a bit of joker, whack it in a tub, and then really lightly sprinkle over the top a little bit of grey lean like so. And if you just give that a little shake up in your tub, it'll sort of separate out a little bit. And then while you're doing it, a little squirt with your atomizer and all of a sudden it starts to knit together and as you can see now i can actually form a little ball of sticky together joker so if you want to feed raw or your venue is quite silty but it's a windy day the lake's towing and you just want to add a little bit of weight to it that'll just get that ball to the bottom and it'll break up and be in its natural form so raw joker Really good for shallow venues, silty venues, where you're fishing for wary fish that want to feed on the natural bottom. Soil and lean, great on natural venues, the perfect way to feed for roach and good on days when you don't want to feed too much ground bait or have other feed in there. And then the simplest way and great for bigger fish like skimmers and bream, little bit of your normal ground bait and just whack some joker in there. And that is pretty much the three or four different ways of feeding this really effective bait.